Oh, here you go. Right? Oh. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get this sparkling and bright light on. All right. So, what's up, guys? Hey, how y'all doing? This is Mac Mark, aka We Know Submission. All right. So, this topic is kind of like a switch up. All right. Some of the things we ask. Somebody made the title to Sturds and Fems. Fems are called Pillow Princesses, and if y'all don't know what that is, a Pillow Princess is a female that don't like to go down and don't like to, like, don't even want to go down on that. I think. Yeah. They don't mind you going down on them, but they won't go down on you. That's a pillow princess. That's what a lot of studs don't like. They can't stand females. They call them fems, pillow princesses. Uh, they call studs, touch me not. Um, I watched three videos about this. Um, I think let's talk. Um, a lesbian let's talk or something like that. Um, it's it's a show. It came out of Atlanta. I know it has to be a bunch of guys that's in Atlanta because I recognize a lot of areas. And I know one of the guy, uh, one of the lesbians. Um, dang, I can't remember her name. She go by Poet though. Um, <clears throat> on the show, and she speaks some real knowledge of stuff. I mean. Like really, really knowledge stuff, and it it ba breaks down different stereotypes in the community. Different, it points out like every week or every two weeks something, some subject that has to reflect on the community, the lesbian community in some aspect. Um, they did one on cheating, and that was like, I don't condone cheating. That would make me do the video. I don't really condone cheating. I don't see the point of it. If you're not happy with the person that you're with, then just leave the situation. Don't sit up here and come up with a bunch of lies because when you come up with one lie, you gotta come up with another lie. And then you gotta come up with another lie to cover them two lies. And it's just too much. So, it's best just not to do it. And then, the touch me not starts. To all y'all that don't know, if you do know, you should know. Um, touch me or not is just what it says. A stud that is not about touching you. She don't mind doing you, but you can't do her. You know, she she's not about like letting her girl go down on her because she'll feel like she's vulnerable, and if she she feel like she's not aggressive, that she will lose her aggressiveness. Um. Basically, the man dominant role, and as being the dominant role, you just don't act. That's my take your vulnerability, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I have heard of this, and this is a new catch. Touch me not, trans. These are trans men that will not let women fulfill them with pleasure. They don't mind doing their girlfriend some uh, gay <laughs> boyfriend, but they won't let you, they won't let their partner touch them at all. Touch me not trans. Trans men. Um, and I thought it was like a weird topic because I've never heard of that before, but I have heard of guys, and it's a dysphoria, uh, so I'm going to have to break that down. Um, what a trans man being a touch me not, it's basically something physical. It's not only physical, it's physical first before the mental. It's not the mental before the physical at this time. It's the physical, uh, the features not adding up to the way the man, the trans man, sees himself and then having someone to want to give pleasure to a part of anatomy that he doesn't feel desired, doesn't feel any 
any comfort with, you know, as far as like a female chest, if you haven't had chest surgery, you, that is a dysphoria, and to have someone sit up there and want to rub on them and, and want to do things to them sexually, it can be frustrating, you know, it can, um, make a trans man kind of feel out of place, dysphoria, um, meaning that they don't feel whole as themselves, and the way that this person might not be realizing that they're just reflecting thoughts of them, them seeing that this person seeing them in a female way and not in a manly way. You know, um, there's certain things you can do to a trans man that is pleasurable, but there are some trans men that just don't feel that desire to have that right now until they're satisfied, satisfied with themselves. And if they don't feel that satisfactory within who they are, then they're not going to be able to give themselves to the person that they're with. Mentally they can, but not physically, because a trans man already has this for you about himself. So him to try to give himself to someone that is going to love and care about him, it's still going to be a little bit hard, because you're seeing the image on the outer, you're seeing, yeah, the image of who they are, but when you take the clothes off, you're seeing the image that they don't like. You understand? Like the canvas that is like the cover that's covering up what they don't desire at all and what society will see and base them as something that they don't that they're not you know society will say they're female and they say i'm not i'm a man but you two you have to step in their shoes to understand why they're like that and a trans man to say no don't touch me is because they haven't had that security for themselves yet and when they get that security then they will let you touch them, but right now it's a vulnerable moment because they haven't transitioned to the desires that they're wanting to get to, and you wanting to please and rub and touch might make them feel uncomfortable, so there is a lot of trans touch me not out there, they don't mind pleasuring a woman, but they will not let you pleasure them back, you know, I don't know, you have to watch the L word. <laughs> they all oh, watch the one before Max went, um, got pregnant. When Max was with that girl, and the girl took off Max's packer and all that. And Max was like, This is not my body. And she's saying, I want to make you feel good, but I want to make your body feel good. But Max knew that his body wasn't the way he wanted it to be. So until he was okay with it, you know. He could, he was a touch me not trans man. You know, so there are a lot of tra touch me not trans men, and this is for touch me not, not trans men. And I would say I'm a touch me not intersex <laughs> man. Uh, right now, I am. Um, I'm kind of doing the abstinence thing uh, until I feel comfortable with me and feel secure to be with the one person I'm going to marry, and until that happens, then uh, nobody's pleasing this temple, <laughs> nobody, so, yeah, this is Touch Me Not Trans Men, broke down aspects, there are a lot of us out there, please respect the Touch Me Not Trans Men, please, alright, this year, Touch Me Not Intersex Man, and I'm out.